Hello Tesla cats, this is Tesla Chan, and or Lucy if you prefer, and welcome back to the garden. Now I would like to apologize before I really elaborate during this video on the uh, noise in the background. Um, the any videos that I just don't feel like setting up my recording setup uh, will be just done like on the fly, and a lot of my videos are just kind of ad lib as it is. But I bet you're wondering. How does this become this? <laughs> now, the first one that I just showed you was my OC Kestrel from November 4th, 2021. And the second one is the redraw I just did of Kestrel over the past few days. So, through early this morning today, on the 26th of April, um starting back on April 20th. So I will kind of elaborate as these speed paints go by on uh, the process for both of them. So yeah, stick around. Now, I, although I don't really remember the backstory I gave Kestrel when I first draw her in this first picture, I do know that this is one of the several um, speed paints that I did where I was playing around with light line art on a dark background. Um, that aside, uh, I think if I remember correctly that she was part dragon and part fairy, but I don't really remember if I posted her anywhere or anything like that. But I'll just let you enjoy the rest of the speed paint in silence and then yeah, that's about it. Guess who's back? Back again. Tesla's back. Tesla cats! <laughs> uh, I knew that was gonna be goofy and cringe anyway. Uh, but this is Kestrel um, between um, the 20th of April, or at least this is how long it took this be paint. I don't know how long it, the other one took, um, but I did take breaks in between, so part of why it took so long on this one, but April 26th through, sorry, April 20th through April 26th was when I uh, recorded this one. Now, and I say that because I wrote down the dates for the pal color palettes for this one, but um, I kept uh, the original design for the most part for Kestrel. However, I did simplify it quite a bit, and when I say I simplified it quite a bit, I mean I legitimately, I didn't have random assortments of those scale-like flower petal type things. I shrank down the flower on her forehead, in her hair, and I tried to keep the uh, any scales that I did use um, pretty uniform across the body, so almost like both halves of the body were about the same. Um, with that said, um, like I said earlier, I don't really remember what Kestrel's story originally was, or originally is, because I don't even remember if I post her anywhere, and when I've looked for her on my own socials, she doesn't tend to pop up. Um, but this brings up a question. 
Um, I don't know. I talk about ideas that I want to do a lot um, on my socials or like tell them friends and stuff like that about things I want to do on my socials. But um, this is probably the second, maybe third time I'm sharing with you Tesla Cat's uh, ideas that I wanted to do. So I am thinking about doing a, or I'm going to try to do a vampire based comic, a webcomic really. And I'm going to try to actually, I'm going to try to buckle down everything. I'm at the moment really just kind of planning things out. So I really do want to use Kestrel somewhere and not just have her be a one-off and that seems to be what happens with a lot of my characters is I like to draw too many of them and then I don't continue with anything, so yeah. But long story short, this vampire comic is mostly central around daywalkers or vampires that really can just handle being out in the sunlight and all that stuff. Um, I won't get into too many details, but the question I have for you guys, if you guys have any thoughts on it, is do you think that there are some vampires that can't or don't have a human form? And if so, do you think this character could work for that? Because I'm not going for the traditional vampires are beautiful thing. But yeah, I think that about covers everything for this, so we all let you listen to the rest of this in silence. Thank you, Tesla Cats, for indulging me on this little adventure. Um, I've been trying to be more confident with posting content in general. But, uh, yeah. Um, leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. And ring the notification bell so that you never miss a future upload. And I know I have been doing the Creepypasta series, Hunters of Ryzoth. I am hoping, because of the current situation with that, is I'm, I've taken a bit of a break from it, and I should be going back to it. I am hopefully going to be recording that episode today, and hopefully it will go up on Sunday. If it doesn't, you'll know I didn't record it today. <laughs> or didn't record it at some point this week when I've posted this. But that's about it. Remember to keep on keeping on, and I'll see you Tesla Cats in the next video. Bye guys!